Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of King's Quest V, uh, Absence Makes the Heart Go Yonder. So last episode, we helped a um, tree, well, a willow tree, get her heart back from the witch. And um, yeah, she dropped this beautiful harp right here. Uh, oh. It is a small harp of beautifully carved mahogany. Ooh, beautiful. And we also, what did we, what else did we do? Oh, we went to the, the bandits and we stole like the, uh, the staff. We got some items. Well, we didn't really, oh yeah. We also found out that Manan, Mananan, apparently is, that's how you spell his, uh, say his name. Mananan is still alive, but he's still a cat. And he has a brother who stole our family. That's the pretty much it. So now we are going to, um, adventure a little bit more. So let's do this. Come on, Cedric. Oh, jeez. You're pretty fast. Hey, what's this? Not seeing the tambourine's owner, Graham bends down and rescues it from the ground. He's like, oh, finders keepers. Isn't that right, Graham? And we gotta go back. Oh, hello. I'm going to talk to him. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to bother you. I was just noticing your son's marionette. It's very interesting. Where did you get it? I would like to take it from you. It's grandson, not son. And I made it for him. Jeez. Why do you care? You... I just wanted to comment on its artistry. It's very well done. I don't suppose it could be bought. If it could, the price would be very steep. I reckon you couldn't afford it. Now, leave me and my grandson be. Why is everybody so sassy? Jeez. Graham attempts to speak to the young gnome, but the boy seems to be very shy and doesn't answer. I ain't in the mood to gab right now. Go find someone else to talk to. What are you so sassy for? Let's go inside. I don't like strangers trespassing in my house. The trespassing in my house. Alright, I guess we'll just keep going. Don't be a jerk. What the Where are we? Hey, we're at the tavern. The swarthy hog in. Oops. I think I'm just gonna go back and see the There's something I could give him? Uh, let's see, what do I have? Oh, what is this? Whoops. The amulet. That's not what I meant to... The worn old shoe is cracked. Graham carries a softened lump of beeswax. Hmm. This appears to be a small, intricately constructed spinning wheel. Hmm. Okay, what? Let's... Unfortunately, Graham is all thumbs when it comes to operating a spinning wheel. Not Graham. Maybe it's so difficult for. Oh. Where did you get this? I thought I had lost it. Oh, it's yours. Oh, is it yours? I found it in the old witch's house in the dark forest. So that's where it got to. Uh. The old hack took it, eh? You know, this ain't an ordinary spinning wheel. It's not? Well, what's so special about it? Why, this spinning wheel can spin straw into gold, that's what. Except you've got to know who to use it. I don't even the witch could figure that out. Thank you for bringing it back to me. You're welcome. Now wait, not so fast. How about that marionette? Don't you think the price of the spinning wheel is worth at least twice that of the puppet? I'd love to have it. Why are you so obsessed? Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> Boy, give that marionette to the man here. I'll make you a new one. Come on, boys. Let's gather up some wood for a new puppet. Oh, you just took that. Why do you want it so badly, Graham? So weird. 
go inside. Graham tries to open the small door, but finds it securely locked. Mm. Fine. Alright, let's go this way. Hmm. A large haystack dominates the area in front of the barn. Mm. Cool. Oh, red. Graham cool. watches with surprise as a contingent of ants marches into the haystack and begins to swarm through it. What? Huh. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Oh. Is there a reason for you to be here? Helping me with anyways. I'm glad to see that it was a way that we could be of help to you. Look here. We found a golden needle in the haystack. Of course you I'd did. I'd like to present it to you. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Why, thank you, King Antony. I'm honored. Good luck in your travels, King Graham. And be careful. <laughs> I can't get over the name King Antony. It's hilarious. <laughs> uh, let's go see what's. Ooh, I'll wait for you here. Okay, Cedric, jeez. Hello. Welcome back to our bank house. I hope you enjoy your custard pie. I still have it. The cat doesn't look very friendly at all. The cat doesn't look very fine. What the? Wait, what? Pouncing, the scroungy cat catches a large gray rat in its wicked claws. Oh, dang. Uh. Was I supposed to do something? Oops. Hmm. Anything back there? Oh, hello. Hello, bird. The bluebird is too busy taking a bath to answer Graham. Okay. I can't give him the... The bluebird doesn't seem to care about it. Fine. I guess we'll head on over here. Anyways, we're gonna head into town and go see the tailor. Or something. Oh. Oh, super fast ramble. Hey, still so making help you sir? Not wishing to be put through another speech about fine shirts and trousers, Graham wisely keeps his mouth. The young man is too busy with another cut. Here, let me help you with that. Okay. Oh, that cloak fits you perfectly. <laughs> it just looks wonderful on you. Let me tell you. It will certainly keep you toasty warm during the coming winter. Really? Let me know if you wish to buy it. Hmm. I don't like this at all. Don't be rude. Uh, we're gonna give the golden needle. My golden needle! <gasps> oh. Wherever did you find it? In the haystack. Like... It was in a haystack by the country inn. By the inn? Oh, yes. I remember visiting there not long ago. Oh, vulgar man, that innkeeper. He has no scruples at all. Huh? Well, I'm glad to see you've got your golden needle back. I wonder, 
Could you possibly see fit to give me that wonderful cloak in exchange for it? Man, Graham really knows how. The cloak? Well, why not? It's yours. For the price of a golden needle. Thank you, kind sir. I'm sure it will help me on my travel. I'm sure it will. Good luck. Au revoir. Ooh, fancy. Stuck this guy. The rude customer doesn't care to talk to Graham. Fine. I don't want to talk to me either. Hmm, let's see what other shops are there. Toys. Shoe shop. <laughs> let's go into the toy shop. Hello. Come on in. Oh, Look around. Let me know if you're interested in anything. Okay. Graham notices a strong little sled hanging on a side wall. A pet goldfish swims endlessly around in its fishbowl. The shipment of carving wood hasn't come in yet. What should we do? If it's not in by tomorrow, I'll send you to the sawmill. Okay, Papa? Grandpapa? Yeah, my darling? Can I keep this doll? I really like her. Now, Katrina, you know these toys are for sale for other kinder. Besides, you've got plenty of dolls. You can play mid her, but just be careful. All right, Grandpapa. I'll take care of her. Well, don't I have a surprise for you, little girl? The little girl seems only to care about the doll she is playing with. Never mind. I guess I'll give it to him. Oh, did you get this wonderful marionette? That craftsmanship is excellent. Don't worry about it. Well, I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but I got it from a little gnome. Oh, God, Grim. I must have it. Can I buy it from you? Actually, you may have it if you'll give me the sled in trade. Why, of course! But I must tell you, I think I'm getting the better deal. I, I can always make another sled, but finding another marionette of this quality... See? Like me? I don't need so, it. Oh, can I have the sled? <laughs> yeah, yeah, take it, it's yours. I was like, I don't care. Thank you very much. I think I'll find this sled very useful. Well, you enjoy it, and thank you for the marionette. You're welcome. We leave. All right, now we have a sled. Oh. Guess we're shopping. We're gonna go shopping all over the place. Take a look around if you want. But we don't have any shoes to sell you right now. Yeah, that's what I figured. We sold our last finished pair yesterday. Our business ain't doing so good anymore. And we're getting too old to keep trying. Is there anything I can do to help? There ain't nothing you can do, short of buying us out. But like I said, if you want to look around, feel free. <laughs> Okay, thanks. This old dog doesn't appeal to Graham. I'm fine. Okay, we'll the old shoemaker wearily hammers tiny nails in a shoe sole. He doesn't even seem to notice Graham. The old shoemaker, eyes squinted and fingers calloused from years of making shoes, drives tiny nails into a shoe sole with a small cobbler's hammer. Hmm. Okay. You don't have any shoes for sale, huh? You just told you that, Graham. That's Jeez. right. No shoes at all. We're making a pair right now, but it'll take a while. We're not as fast as we used to be. Oh, that's okay. My own boots should carry me through the rest of my journey. Sorry, son. We're doing the best we can. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I have boots. I have boots. What have we here? Mom, oh. take those shoes from the young man. Now you're... Let me see them. Now you're paying attention. These are the finest pair of shoes I've ever seen. The leather is soft and pliable, yet sturdy. The craftsmanship of these shoes are superb. And Mama, look at the solid gold buckle. Why, I could retire from the sale of these shoes. Then the shoes are yours. I don't think I could find a better use for them. You are a godsend, young man. 
How can we ever repay you? They're giving me you something. You don't need to repay me. Just knowing I helped you is enough for me. It's over well. Well, it ain't much, but it's all I've got to give. Here, take my cobbler's hammer. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Hmm. Since I'll be retiring, I won't need it anymore. Thanks to you. Why, thank you. A hammer could be very useful on my journey. Good for you. Take care, young man. We'll never forget this. That's right, son. We'll finally be able to retire in comfort. You'll be in our hearts from now on. Come on, Mama, let's go home. Let's celebrate our good fortune. Wait, you didn't sell the shoes yet. Hold on a second. I don't have the money yet. <laughs> let's talk to this guy. You can't talk to this guy? Fine. Nobody wants to talk to Graham. Town sucks anyways. How about that? Uh, hey, Cedric, how you doing? Let's go. Gonna get going. Oop, oop. Keep on walking. Hmm. Alright, let's finally go in this inn and see what's... Ooh, I'll wait for you out here. I don't like that place. Okay, you don't like any places anyways. Oh, hello. Hello. The dog is just out of Graham's reach. Ah. Let's go get the dog. You know that job we pulled yesterday? Huh? Where's the rest of the loot, huh? I think one of you guys is holding out on me. Gentlemen, please excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Don't, don't, don't get into it, Graham. Just leave them be. Oh, man. You, you need a small... Diana's full ain't got no more rooms. Okay. Hey, boss, this guy looks like a real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with him? Rub him out. Hey, what? Huh? Struggle as he might, Graham could not escape his bonds. How did this happen? Don't worry, Graham. The innkeeper will soon put you out of your misery. Oh no. I didn't save. Son of a gun. Okay. You guys know what's gonna happen next, so I'll be right back. Suddenly. So, yeah, I was a little bit too slow on the um, last time when the mouse got eaten. So, yeah. Oh, uh, anyways, gotta go back and get other things. You know that. And here we are, back at it again. Diana's bull ain't got no more rooms. Alright. Hey, this guy looks like a real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with him? Rob him out. Oh, oh man. Struggle as he might, Graham could not escape his bonds. Oh, it's the, the rat from the earlier that I saved. Wait, those are chains. Oh, jeez. Thank you so much, Mother Mouse. All right. Graham stoops down and picks up the sturdy rope from the stone floor. Yeah, I guess so. All right, so. Graham has unfortunately found himself locked in the Country Inn's dusty, dirty cellar. Hmm. Right, Graham oops. has unfortunately. All right, let's go up there. A small set of rickety wooden stairs lead up to the cellar door. Mm. A rusty padlock 
Securing the door prevents Graham from leaving the cellar. Ah, so we will use the hammer. Using the cobbler's hammer, Graham pounds on the rusty padlock until it breaks apart. Ha ha! There's a lot of noise though. Okay. Oh! Now what? Uh, a look around? Graham looks around the inn's kitchen and finds it rather sparse and untidy. Okay. Some of the cupboards. Inside the cupboard, Graham sees a large, juicy leg of lamb. Oh, snap. We're gonna take it. Reaching Yummy! Reaching into the open cupboard, Graham pulls out the savory leg of lamb. Ooh. All right, so where should we go? Let's go this way. Ooh. Oh! Hello, Cedric. You are no help at all. Back down the road to the east, you will run into the bakehouse. Yeah, no kidding. Woohoo! All right, everybody, I think this will be the end of this episode, so I hope you enjoyed it, and please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!